nice look how big this sofa area is and then the desk and then we got a king bed we have tv oh my gosh very nice and then there's all this like open space here and then we have a view i don't know probably not not really much of a view but not bad a little something <laughs> and then coming this way there's a closet maybe oh yeah oh my gosh this is a huge closet it's like a walk-in closet Wow, this place is huge. And then there's also a mirror on the door, a full length mirror. So it's so big. And then we have the bathroom. Whoa, look at this vanity light. Wow, amazing. And then the shower, looks like a pretty nice shower. And the toilet. So yeah, our first time staying at this place, but very nice. So we're all checked in and we're gonna go eat dinner. I was eyeing this place called Pine and Crane that I heard about years ago. So it's been on my list for many years. I've never gotten to try it and I feel like today is the perfect day to try it, hopefully. But yeah, if you missed it in the last vlog, we are here in LA for a few days, like a short trip. And it's because we got invited to the Kung Fu Panda premiere. So we're gonna be going to that in two days. I'm kind of nervous because I've never been to a premiere before, but I'm very excited because I love Kung Fu Panda. So yeah, the plan is tonight we're gonna eat dinner, get settled in. We actually were going to originally film a Universal Studios Hollywood video, like the, a food tour, because I've never done a food tour there, but it is raining in LA this weekend, which is really unfortunate because it doesn't rain here that much, but just so happened that the weekend we're here, it's raining, so we called off the Universal Day. We're gonna have to postpone it to another time. So yeah, tomorrow we're pretty open. I think we're gonna go hang out with some of Bird's friends that like, they make music together. If you guys didn't know, Bird makes music. Check him out on Spotify, Bird Tunes. But yeah, we might hang out with some of his music friends tomorrow. Other than that, we're probably just gonna like eat stuff. But anyway, whatever we get up to, you guys will come along with us. We waited, how long did we wait? Like an hour. Yeah. yeah. And we finally made it in. We ordered, we got seated, and we have our first plate of food or bowl of food. So we got the minced pork on rice, and it comes with a braised egg and some bamboo shoots. I feel like usually they don't have bamboo on it, actually. We're gonna have the bamboo. Mmm. Oh, I really like the bamboo. It's crunchy, but it's also like vinegary. Yeah. Pretty flavorful. I feel like it's like pretty authentic actually. Bird also got a milk tea. No? Here, I wanna try. It's fine. It's not gonna blow you away. It's a drink. <laughs> it's a drink. And then we also got the three cup chicken. I haven't had this dish in a really long time, but I remember I really liked it as a kid. And then we also got a beef roll. Whoa, there's so much cucumber. I've never had a beef roll with so much cucumber, right? Look at that. It's like 95% cucumber. Cheers. Hmm. Not bad. A lot of cucumber though. The beef is nice, and the crisp on the pancake is nice too. It definitely needs more green onion. I just think the, the ratio of the filling is off. Too yeah. much cucumber needs more green onion, but I like the crispy pancake. Trying the three cup chicken. Mm. Mm. It has a strong basil flavor, which is why I remember liking it when I was a kid. The chicken is also really juicy and tender. Oh my gosh, this beef noodle soup just came. It looks so good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Let's look, take a look at the beef. Mmm. Mm. The noodles are really chewy for a neuro mian. Mm. And the broth, good beefy flavor. I'm actually just so impressed that the noodles are so chewy. They really have a nice bounce to it. All right, let's try the beef. Yeah, the beef is not bad, but it's not like particularly tender or anything, but not bad. Oh, this is perfect after a flight and on a rainy day too. 
Good morning vlog. We are starting the vlog today in a candy store. We're at the Glendale Galleria Mall because we're waiting to get into Din Tai Fung. <laughs> We've actually been waiting for about an hour now, but hopefully we'll get called soon. But yeah, we're here with Bird's music friends, so we're gonna have lunch with them. And for the rest of the day, not exactly sure, but we'll be eating. <laughs> Yum. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's very loud in here, but we are at dinner and we are at Hangari Kalguksu. If you guys have been watching for a while, you would know that I freaking love this place. It's really hard for me to come to LA and not eat it because I just can't resist. Like, I love it so much. And Bird has never been here, so I knew I had to take him here. And so they brought the banchan, the side dishes. So we have some like kimchi and pickled radishes and stuff. Haven't been vlogging that much today because we kind of just took it pretty easy today. Day, especially because we originally were supposed to film at Universal so since we didn't go do that our day was like pretty open so yeah we ate lunch pretty late with Bird's friends but it was really really good the Din Tai Fung it was amazing and then we literally just went back to one of Bird's friends places and they were like making some music and we we're just hanging out chilling talking and now it's dinner and I'm excited for you to try it I'm excited to try it yeah I hope I didn't overhype it I also told Bird that if he doesn't like it I'm gonna be super sad so be kind bird i'm sure i'll like it you have good taste i hope so That's you're, why you're sometimes you're pickier than me all right the food just came here we have the possum it's like a pork belly here and then you basically make like little wraps with it so this is cabbage and then jalapenos some like pickled radish type thing and then sliced garlic oh i love this is like my favorite dish here. And then of course you have to get the kalguksu. So we got the chicken kalguksu. And kalguksu is like knife cut noodles. So if you look at the noodles here, they're like nice and thick and chewy. And that broth is amazing too. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Let's dig in. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, ready? I want us to eat it together. First bite. Alright, ready? ready? Good. Good, yeah? I like the noodle flavor. Mm. Chewy too. Super chewy. And the broth, it's like a little thick, so it sticks onto the noodles really well. That's just hot. The broth is so good, right? It's super like strong and deep chicken flavor. I like the perfect food if you were like sick or something. Yeah, it's perfect sick food. They also have a clam kalbutsu that's also really good, but you don't usually like seafood stuff as much as like chicken. So I, that's why I ordered the chicken one. But I like both of them. I really like that soup. The soup's good, right? I like the onion. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. It's so comforting. Now I'm gonna teach you how to make the possum. So you grab a piece of cabbage, put it here on your plate, then grab a piece of pork belly, okay. put it on top. Then you get like the jalapeno and the garlic. Oh, and also they give you this like a uh, sauce thing. It's like a soybean paste. And then put some pickled radishes as well. Basically you just build a little thing with everything on it, yeah. Cheers. Mm. There's just so many different textures. And I love the crunch from the cabbage. This place is cool. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Yay! I'm glad. I was going to be sad if you didn't like it. Server, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is huge. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. We got the mango melon shaved ice, or they call it bingsu, but in my experience, whenever I have bingsu, it's more like finely shaven. This actually looks more like Taiwanese shaved snow to me, but it looks really good. And then there's also a little side. I assume this is like condensed milk, but yeah, this thing is huge. I don't know what we're gonna do about this. So I don't know, cause it's called mango melon, so I don't know if the flavor of the ice is both mango and melon, or if it's just mango, but it's served in a melon. In a melon yeah. Not sure, but cheers. It actually yeah. doesn't taste very mango -y. Yeah, I was gonna ask, do you taste mango? I don't taste much mango, no. I mean, maybe there's like a, a little hint of mango, but it's not much. But also, it's not like hella strong on the melon flavor either. Yeah. It has like a little hint of mango, a little hint of melon but not strong flavor on either. Gonna eat a piece of honeydew. It cold. <laughs> I do like the texture of it a lot. Like it's very creamy, but light and fluffy at the same time. Reminds me of Snow Crave. I know, it does remind me of Snow Crave. Rip Snow Crave. If you guys are from the Bay, you guys might know Snow Crave. We used to actually go there a lot because it was one of the only places in the Bay that had Taiwanese shaved snow, but now that all the snow craves closed, there's like not really anywhere that has it. Like the only one I can think of is an SF, the one called Powder. Remember, we went there before. I don't even know if they're still open actually, but that's the only one I can think of. But anyway, this is good. Good dessert. Just not strong on mango or melon, but it's like a light fruitiness. Final fits <laughs> for the premiere. I'm wearing this dress from Baltic Born and then shoes from Target <laughs> and also jacket from Target. This one's Wild Fable. And then birds fit. I'm wearing gap pants. Uh huh. Khakis, I think. I'm wearing this unique low sweater. Unique low sweater. And then this shirt. We got like a, a suit from Zara and this the shirt. Oh, that came with yeah. it? Okay. And then what about shoes? These are just random shoes that I have. We are gonna eat lunch before the premiere, I hope. <laughs> I realize that I cannot walk in heels, so wherever we eat lunch either has to be really close to the movie premiere or we're just gonna Uber from lunch to the theater. But anyway, let's go to lunch. Let's go. Okay, so we are at La La Land. It's a cafe at the Grove. And Bird got a cookies and dream latte, which is like a cookies and cream coffee drink, basically. And then I got the, they call it the world's best matcha vanilla latte or something. It's not focusing. There we go. Yeah, that's what it's called. And then Bird was More eyeing this cookie in the cookie. bakery display. So why don't you try it? All right. This cookie. They asked if we wanted it warmed up, and I said no because I know Bird doesn't like warm cookies. How's it? Not bad? Could be sweeter. Oh, really? It's not that sweet? I'm gonna try my matcha vanilla latte. It's not bad. Not a lot of vanilla flavor. A little bit. But it's not bad. Would I say it's the best? <laughs> Probably not. But it's not bad. Our tickets! Oh. Exciting. I guess we're just like hanging out until the movie starts. I don't really know. But 
There's some cool stuff here. Look at this cool Kung Fu Panda trolley thing. Amazing. There's like other decorations and stuff. Maybe we'll see Jack Black. Jack Black. Bird has been talking about how he wants to see him. I just want to see him. <laughs> At the hotel, we had hot pot for dinner at Shabuya with some other creators and my manager and other friends, which is really nice, but we're really full now. But I just wanted to recap the premiere. It was so cool. Like when we got there, there was this, I guess it's supposed to be the red carpet, but it was black. So it was the black carpet, I guess. But yeah, we saw like the stars. We saw Jack Black. We saw Aquafina. We saw Ki Hui Kwan. And also James Hong. And he was so sweet. Like he was stopping. Like anytime anyone wanted an autograph, he would stop. Anytime anyone wanted a picture, he would stop. And like he was so sweet. And like he's like 90 something. So he totally didn't have to do that. But he was so sweet to like all the fans and stuff. Yeah, that was just cool. a really cool and sweet moment. And like... Yeah, anyway, we saw all the stars and then we watched the movie, which actually I really enjoyed it. I mean, Kung Fu Panda, how can you go wrong? It was a good one. Afterwards, they had like an after party kind of situation where they had like Wetzel's pretzels, Hagen dazs ice cream, free pressed juicery. They had like other Asian food like dumplings, orange chicken, noodles, and they had like coffee, matcha, and stuff. And then they had some activities like face painting and airbrush. Or I guess airbrush and face painting, is that the same thing? I don't know, airbrush tattoos and face painting, I guess. And then they have like some photo ops and stuff. Mostly I just sat there and was eating the food because that's kind of the vibe I, I go for usually. But what was a wild moment to me was AJ Raphael and his wife. I think they had their like nieces with them and they came over to us and like their nieces wanted a picture with me because they watched my videos and I was shook. Like I literally was like hyperventilating. Well, not when it was happening. When it was happening, I was like, you know, saying hi to the nieces and all that. We took pictures and then I was like telling AJ Raphael and I was like, dude, I've been watching you since high school. And he, yeah, they were just really nice. And then once they left, I was like, <sighs> What just happened? That was wild. It was a very cool moment. That was wild. But yeah, anyway. But yeah, we like saw a bunch of creators. We saw other people and it was just a really cool experience and a Good really vibes. cool time. Yeah, wow. I just, I can't believe, this was like one of the best days I had all year so far, honestly. But anyway, now we are getting ready for bed. We are tired. My feet hella hurt because I never wear heels. I mean, 
When was the last time you saw me wear heels? Never. I've like, never seen you wear heels. Yeah, never. Period, right? <laughs> like, literally never. So, my feet hella hurt. But we're going to shower. We're going to sleep. And then tomorrow, I'm supposed to have lunch with some friends. And then we're going to go down to OC. Woo! <laughs> anyway, good night. Bye. <laughs> good morning, vlog. We are in the lobby. We just checked out of the hotel. Bird is gonna go hang out with his music friends for today. And I'm about to go get lunch with some girls from the 20 whatever podcast. I listen to their podcast every week and it's super exciting that I'm gonna get to meet them and have lunch with them. So yeah, I am waiting for my Uber in the lobby. Hopefully it comes soon. I think I'm actually running a little bit late, but yeah, I'm super excited. Woo! <laughs> Lobster spaghetti, and we're with the girlies. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> literally, literally, literally. Yeah, we got the short rib sandwich, grilled cheese. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. With B and B jalapeno. Oh, and B and B jalapeno. I already forgot. I forgot. The wagyu beef carpaccio. There it is. There we go. With a side of pita. Yes, necessary. Love it. just checked into our hotel let's do a quick room tour i mean there's not much to see anyway but this is the front door where you enter we got bed bed nightstand we got some art on the walls that's nice and then over here we have like a desk we have a fridge tv drawers and closets and then over here we have bathroom a chair or like a sink and a chair and then toilet and shower pretty standard and yeah we basically booked this really really last minute because originally my trip was only gonna be in LA but then I just saw the food and wine food and the food and wine festival started on March 1st and we were gonna leave on March 4th from LA and I was like but it's so close like I could just go and like eat the food and wine food you know because I have a pass so I was like yeah anyway I could not resist. So we just booked this last minute room just to extend our trip so I could go eat food and wine food tomorrow. Woohoo! Not me. Sorry, bird. Bird has to work. There, there. It's okay, I'll bring uh, you right. I'll bring you some magic home. Money. No. <laughs> but yeah, are we going to Downtown Disney now? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna head over to Downtown Disney. I think we're gonna try to walk there because this place is pretty close. I don't know. It's only like 8 o'clock, so yeah, I think we could walk there. But yeah, we're going to go downtown Disney. We're going to go look at the merch. We love looking at merch. And just walking around for the vibes. So yeah, let's go. All out. <laughs> we're going to get ice cream. got sea salt with caramel ribbons. The caramel ribbons are really dripping over there. And then on the bottom, we got the pots of gold and rainbows, which is like a Lucky Charms flavor. Yeah. yeah looks delish. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. Sargood. Good caramel flavor. Dude, you guys, we were looking for these all over Disney World and we could not find them. But they don't oh no, have there's only smalls, 2XL and 3XL. Do they not have large no, or medium? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. 
We got our hopes up because at Disney World, they only had like yeah, one stack like small. this. I can look in the park tomorrow. Yeah. I got so excited. I was like, finally, you can get I the know. shirt that you've been looking for. But yeah, they don't have your size. <laughs> nice hat. Look good. And sweater. I like how it has like the balloon sleeves too. See how they like puff out? <laughs> Very cute. You're rocking it. Are you a Grogu fan? I can't tell. Oh, 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 he got moves. Look at Yoda. Oh my gosh, look at his face look and his Yoda. little hair. Look at his hair. One day my hair will look like that. Will it? <laughs> Maybe your ears will look like this too. Oh, bird. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, look at these. They're little Mei Mei Nuimos. I've never seen this before. So cute. And then. They have some outfits. Four -town. They have a four town outfit and kidding. some rollerblades. My fave, turning red. <laughs> More turning red stuff. Look at this shirt. <laughs> this is so cute with the anime eyes. Oh, and they have a backpack too. Wow. Very cute. Bird is tired. Should we call it a night? <laughs> we are back at the hotel. Wow. We are very, very tired, so we're gonna go to sleep. I have to get up early tomorrow because I'm gonna go to Disneyland. I'm gonna, you know, try the food and wine food. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna be in the next vlog. So you guys will see that in the next vlog. So now we're gonna end this vlog that you're watching right now. So stay tuned for the next vlog. Make sure to subscribe. I actually never asked you guys to subscribe, but subscribe, like the video. It helps the channel. If you guys enjoy the vlogs, it helps. So please do. Anyway, if you made it this far, comment below Kung Fu Panda! with a panda emoji yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next vlog bye